Larry Bella here, and we have something very special for you this week. It'll generate a lot of buzz. Everyone is talking about it. This is, of course, uh, Games Workshop's big uh, product. This is the follow-up to Betrayal of Cult. We have Horus Heresy, Burning of Prospero. All right, Bulls fans, Larry Vella here. I'm here with Adam Harry. And hey, everybody. Oh my gosh, here it is. It's in front of us. Look, oh. it, look, it has the fancy shrink wrap on it. <laughs> we don't even, it's like, this is, this is like Christmas. It's like Christmas. It's it like absolutely Christmas. is like Christmas. Do you have the, do you have, have the, the, Bulls. the official Bulls implement? You'll notice the scissors are orange. It's true. It's true. All right, are we ready? ready to do this? Are we ready? I am so ready to do this. Let's do it. Oh my gosh. Plastic wrap's off. Plastic wrap is off. Hey, we gotta show the back off. We do. All right, flip it over real quick. Let's flip this thing over. Okay, so. That for, was hefty, by the way. It is, yeah. This, <laughs> first, a, a couple things. Uh, for you people who have uh, seen Betrayal at Cult, our, our mm -hmm. own copy of it, this is the exact box. This is that really thick yeah. card. Yeah. It's not like the thinner card that you get with like a lot of GW some, products. Some this, is, yeah, this, this is, is like the beefy, yeah. the, the extra beefy high gloss. Um, uh, card box on this here. This is the back. That was, this Ooh. is looking at the back there. Um, yeah. Let's take a look at this overall. We'll kind of go through the basics. So first of all, um, is there anything that jumps out at you immediately that you just like? What is that? Uh, what the heck is this in a Game Workshop <laughs> product? That's a. D, those are some D8s. So there's a D8. That's I, a D12. It's like I'm playing D and D. There's the D10s. There's D. So there's D10. D6s. Yeah. So sixes, which we always get in Game yeah, Workshop yeah, yeah, product. Yeah. There's there's the gazillion D6s, but but uh, yeah. D10s. D12, D8s. And there's up here in red, so I'm gonna guess that there's probably two identical sets of dice. Oh, yeah. So there's, yeah, so there's sixes, uh, eights, tens, and a 12. The second thing that jumps out of you is, holy <laughs> moly, Sisters of Silence. Adeptus, because I, I, I'm gonna say it right now. I, if someone had told me, you know what, Games Workshop one of these years is gonna make plastic custodis, I would have said, no, You're crazy no, talk. Crazy no, talk. they're not. Yeah. You're, you're smoking the wacky tobacco. That is not, yeah. you know, that is yeah. never gonna happen. Surprise, it just happened. Wow, I'm just kind of freaked out. We got, you got, you got tons of uh, Mark III Marines. Oh, you yeah. got some Tartaros, Tartaros pattern Terminators Terminators. You got Armin. Armin. You got uh, Gregor, Gr the other fell handed. Gygor, I forget how to say it, whatever. Gigor, Gygor, I don't know. Yeah. Whatever, the other fell I'm from Texas. Mr. So fell -handed. It's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> However I'm gonna try, try to pronounce it, it's wrong. There's some cool templates up here too. It looks almost like a void template. Uh, yeah, you know what? All the standard cards that we see, you know, kind of from, you know, if it's the Betrayal of Kalth yeah. style cards. Let's just read this really quick. Go over 16 the 16-page background book, 32-page rule book, two profile sheets, five double-sided board tiles, 15 psychic power cards, 36 warp energy and willpower cards, 24 dice, counters and templates, 47, Miniatures, we got airmen, we got Phil Handed, we got five Charters Pattern, we got 30, 30 Legionnaire Veterans, five Custodes, five Sisters of Silence. A huge amount of miniatures, very, very similar to stuff. what we saw in uh, Chill Cult. Also, yeah. there are 47 expertly designed. Well, of course, of course. Citadel I want to call them out too. We haven't seen Warp Energy slash Willpower cards since like second edition. Like, like Willpower. You remember that? Remember that old? The warp cards, you remember? Oh, that? You yeah. Know, second powers? Wow, yeah. yeah. That's like way back in the day. Yeah. We have second power cards now, but I mean like to cast this. Anyway, I'm, I, damn, I can't wait. I'm so excited. You ready? Yeah, ready? Ready? Dun, 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 dun. I, this is like, um, this is like uh, when they opened the thing Ooh. in. Um, the mummy? Yeah. No. Well, <laughs> the, I was going to say Raiders of the Lost Ark. Don't all look at the, it. Don't look at it. All the, <laughs> oh, the heresy spirits fill up. Okay, here we go. Wow. wow. Okay, first of all, this box is really heavy. Now we know why. This is a crazy amount of miniatures in here. Yeah. I can, can you smell that, folks, at home? No, you can't. But we yeah. can. This is the new sprue smell. Yeah. Petrochemicals. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Good for us, right? That's so totally safe. It. Okay, Boy, so. Start. Well, those are obviously the terminators. There's 30 normal dude. No, these are the these are the are the Mark III guys. Mark III legs. Oh, you're right. Because they have the segmented legs, I armor legs. I, so yeah. this, this, and this. Okay, so we've got at least two sprues. This is a 10 man squad, and right. then there's three of these. All right, so let's let's guys. let's pull the sprues out and organize these real quick. So yeah. we've got one, two. That's a different sprue. Okay. Right. That's legs screen? and this legs, backpacks. backpacks. There's some heavy vultures. This stuff is there. legs, Special weapons. legs, and oh right, one of the three was just they snapped it in a weird way. Yeah. Okay. It's the so same thing. that's so. There's the legs. Okay. 
Here's another one. Shoulder this pads. Is the top. That one right. goes there. So okay. all of those sprues that we just pulled out, those were the those are the 30 Mark III Marines. Yeah. Okay. So we know. So now let's do. Oh wait, no, hang on. Yes. Is that? Mm -hmm. They just one? just one of the set one of the set of three was just snapped. They snapped it in a different order. Ah, oh, yeah, That's you're right. Because these actually look like they would fit there's, together. Yeah, they're just like yes. that. Exactly. Because it's so one big all... huge thing. Right, they're cast in one big huge thing. And yeah, they that's how they box. all go to you. So that's one squad. ten man squad box Correct. right there. Okay. Yes. And because you know we're gonna get a box set eventually. Oh, absolutely. Re -release. Just like we so saw. So that's how they cut those out. Yep. Okay. Cool. Okay. So we'll be going over all those in for sure. For sure. Okay. So next we have uh, th these are that's the terminators. These are the terminators. And like I said, we're gonna be going over all these uh, details. Yeah, it's know, hard to see right now. The they're stuff, really hard. That's the but terminator. Here's the five terminators. They have all their weapons. Yeah, we'll, we'll go over we'll, that we'll come in back. just a second. Okay. Here's the characters. Those are the oh, sisters. Oh, those are the sisters of silence. I know it's hard to see right now because we have all this sprue underneath. But there's the sisters of silence. We will definitely go over that in more. Detail. Nice. Uh, it's a pretty small sprue, considering that there's. Uh, but then again, you know there are five sisters. Uh, we Not have the Custodius sprue. Holy that is moly. that is a much larger sprue for five guys. That's they have because... a lot of different weapon. A lot of like, look at all the giant swords. Yeah, <laughs> and we're going to be going over this. Oh, be yeah. because we'll there are, we're because, coming back because yeah, I don't even want to. We'll talk about all it right. later. There's special weapon, special hero. Sorry, that is Gigor. The, Mr. Fellhanded. That is the Fellhanded. Mr. the Fellhanded. Yes. Mr. Doctor the Fellhanded. <laughs> There's Armin. We've seen that sprue. Yep. Leaks. Gee, where's that where's sprue that from? Where's that Yeah. Oh. It's from I, the, the I, internet a month ago. I'll put these out real quick, too. Uh, those borders are much thinner than we've seen in the past. Like yep. the, the, the border sprues? That's mm -hmm. that's new. That's interesting. So. I predict that those are future clan ah. That's a lot of bases. Yeah, what are those for? Oh my gosh, bases. Okay. Hey, that's why... There's more sisters. Oh, there's a second, there we go. Second one for like, sisters. I was, I was gonna say, man, that's like a lot of. There we go. All right. So next up, we have we have some cards. Burning of Prospero. Uh -huh. The burning. These are um, well. Those are nice. I don't know. There's there's actually it looks like there's two different sets in there. Yep. So. Dice. Yeah, our set is gray and look gray at and red and look at yep gray and red and look at that. I mean. Crazy. This is yeah. crazy. I mean, this is from, from, from Games Workshop. Games Workshop has for you know decades. There's all D6s all the time. And it's a lot of that's a lot of fan, that's a lot of fancy you stuff. You know, if they had tossed in a D4 and a D20, <laughs> I'd be like I'd be like, let's roll up my ranger. Right. right, right. <laughs> exactly. Alright, there is the rule book, which is still sealed, as you can Ooh, see there. Fancy. Uh, the stats. Look at that shooting D10. We'll find out here. Yes, in a obviously minute. those are not in any way 40k stats. And so. yeah, this is uh, this is actually two booklets. We'll open yep. that up and show that off in a second. And then a really nice. I think the last one. thing we hear, and it, it's where some of this weight comes from. It's not the last thing. Yeah. <gasps> hold on a second. Hold Hang on. on. I want to see how. That yeah. That this is that same Heavy really. Duty. It's that really thick card yeah. that we've seen on Overwatch. Or, Overwatch. Or, me, Overkill. Overkill me. and Betrayal Call. Yes. So it's the super super beef. And I want to point this out too. This game definitely looks like it is not a direct sequel, so much as it is a a. Uh, it's a, a follow, follow up. Yeah. To Betrayal Call. Yeah, because Betrayal Call was all hex based, yeah. and yeah, this, this is not, definitely <laughs> not. clearly not hex. Uh, we have transfer sheets. It's hard to make out these white, pure white ones here, but those are the Thousand Suns. It looks like yes, and then which we got is the base wolf one. which is awesome. There's now decals, <laughs> decals. for like mass produced, decals. not like the crazy forge old ones, but just yes. decals for that for the original, yeah. you know, heresy era. That's everything. Thousand in the box. Suns logo. All right, move That's, this to the side. Yep. Oh, show the side of the box. Oh, okay. Actually, look, look at that. Point. That is cool. We've got how to paint or Yep, examples. there's a thousand suns on that side. We've got there's the Terminators. Terminators. And we got Space Wolves. Nice. And then on the other side, oh, it's gonna be the special. Yep. Sisters, Sisters and, and the Custodes. Man, I can't wait to see these guys <laughs> together. <laughs> Can you tell we're kind of excited? All right, so let's look at the Mark III Terminators, or Mark III Terminators. Mark III Marines. Mark III Marines. Excuse we're going to do one one squad of them. One full squad. So move we're going to move aside. the extemporaneous ones away. And we need a leg spur. So here we go. All right, we're going to get all these lined up here so that there folks we go. at home can see. Yeah, exactly so this is, this is one 10-man squad. Yeah, actually, this this is technically upside down. Yeah, so just there we that. go. That's I think that's how they're produced. Um, 
That's how they would be produced. This is one long sprue. Yeah. And, and I just break it up. And I'm sure whenever in the nebulous future, 2017, when this <laughs> when, when this uh, shows up as its as its own individual box set on store shelves, going to this is exactly what you're going to get. It's going to yeah. be these, these these sprues made to your 10 man uh, Mark III squad. That's so. For Forty all of you Horse Heresy fans, for all the people who have all the Forge World books, this will be completely f familiar to you. But for you 40k only guys, a lot of really cool stuff here. So we're dealing with Mark III armor. So there's definitely a lot of uh, differences. Kind of the first one is you have that uh, you have <laughs> the, the really difference. you have that really distinctive kind of Crusade era um, um, helmet. Which yes. is, uh, the Mark III helmet is probably the helmet that's... I got an idea, got an idea real quick. Hang what? on. Can, we, can on. we split these off and show them off each, like, one at a time? We can focus in. You want to do that? Like, each sprue. We're going we're gonna to break a sprue, guys. Is that, is that cool? I think we can on do camera? it. Okay, I think we, we can do it. Ah! Ah! All right, we're going to do this. Ooh. We're going to do it like this, because I feel like we're going to get a better shot. We're just going to go gonna right in. Way. There we go. We want right you guys here. to be able to see everything. Boom. Okay, so, so there's those fancy helmets you were talking about. Right, so these are these are those they're those very kind of brutal kind of just yeah. just flat fronted helmets. They have the vertical grates on them. Uh, these are the helmets that are uh, in the artwork. These are the helmets that you normally see associated with, say, Iron Warriors. Yeah, they're like they're really just kind of the tough, you know. They 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 definitely look more like a medieval style helmet. Correct. With the grating so, and the ice yeah. slits and everything. So like that. there's a whole. So there's yeah. all the helmets. You have the old style, um, kind of like the really old Mark of Bolter. Yes. These are similar to the Rogue Trader. Actually, these are kind of an even more archaic design than the original mm -hmm. Rogue Trader. Um, I like that the the, the Bolter uh, bits at the tip have the, the hole. So all you folks like to bore out your bits, or bore out your your barrels, you're gonna have even more barrel to bore. <laughs> that, say, I, yeah. say that 10 times fast. Yeah, I don't want to. Um, we have the pauldrons. Uh, the the, the, Which are the awesome. The other thing thing that is very distinctive about Mark III power armor is Mark III power armor is um, very brutal. This is the power armor that was already described in the in the fluff as being used for people who have to deal with with frontal assaults. It's used mm -hmm. for say uh, starship combat. It's used for tunnel fighting. Basically, it's it's very very tough, and yeah. it's got rivets all over it. It has kind of a very industrial feel compared to say. Say the Mark IV that's very clean. Yeah. Um, you know, and ones that come after it, and we see that. So, as a, as an example, look at these torsos, which look amazing, by the way. Yeah, they look awesome. All of these torso pieces, they're completely unadorned and uh, flat on the front, except for of course rivets everywhere. They have a big kind of slab piece of armor yeah. that, that hangs down and and covers the uh, the groin and pelvis. Um, lots yeah. of rivets all over that. Here are the pauldrons. Even their belts, by the way. Even the belts on the on the torsos. The pauld. The, are, uh, are just like, they look like the Batman utility belts. Oh yeah. Uh, all the pauldrons have those big flared edges, yeah. which in the fluff, uh, that's that's extra side protection for your head. Yeah. And uh, again, rivets everywhere. If you love rivets, this these, is are, the army the, these are the guys for you. Uh, let's flip this over really quickly. I don't think there's gonna be much on the back of no, it. These, that this we're is the parts see. that you slap together. Yeah, the only thing special, the only kind of extra detail here is just so you can see the other side of the bolter. And, and the guess helmets. what? They're bolters. Okay, yeah. so let's move on to the next sprue. Legs or, or backpacks? Uh, legs. 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 Let, let's go legs. Okay, here we go. Legs are the other part of Mark III that's really, really distinctive. Um, this um, has lots of individual bands. So it's, yeah. it's like medieval banded. It's clearly, it is. It's, it's yeah. clearly <laughs> inspired by medieval banded armor. So sure. you're, you're not getting the big, the big solid piece of armor that you you know put your leg into. These are individual bands. Right, right, right. And um, and guess what? They have rivets. All, all over the place. All of them. Uh, even the arms, the little individual mm -hmm. pieces that cover the forearm. Uh, and the upper arm are, uh, they have little, um, uh, actually very fine detail and rivets all over yeah. them. I love the I love the amount of detail they've actually squeezed in there because of all the rivets, because of all those little ridges and stuff. It really just, I mean, it just pops out. It's not like a smooth, it is smooth armor, right? except for the rivets and all of the, the bands and stuff that pop out. Like just the back of the legs are look really crazy. You get a lot of uh, yeah. all your bolt pistols in holsters. Which is kind of cool, which we don't cool. see that very often. Uh, unless, with, unless you play Heresy. Yeah, unless if you, you play Heresy. Yeah, play, play, uh, yeah I, I mean, Heresy Marines are loaded down with stuff. Right. Yeah. That's just that's just cool. Flip, and then, the, of course, the, the, the hands and stuff, Let's flip too. that guy over so we can see. There we go. So there is a lot of interesting detail 
on the front of the uh, on the front of the legs. Uh, in particular, look at the uh, the knee joints or yeah. the ankle joints. This is this is pretty pretty complex armor. Yeah, there's very like much a so. lot. I mean, when you're painting this and, and inking it or lining it, whatever, there's a lot of there's gonna be a, yeah. lo a lot. If of you're a hard edge uh, hard edge highlighting fan, you're gonna be <laughs> in hog heaven with these. I'll tell you what right I'm, now. It's gonna be a I'm lot of work. Give you that. And I mean, the overall yeah. appearance of Mark III armor is, is I mean, let's be honest about it. Compared to all of the other uh, types of armor, this is the armor that makes your guys look actually more, the most like medieval knights. Yeah, and this I mean, is the most, I guess, for lack of a better term, retro look. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Mark yeah. III is the, yeah, everything sort else. of like the uh, the Storm Warrior, like the, you know, the, the Thunder Warriors. The Thunder Warriors. Who are just you, knights. Who are just dudes with like, exactly. And visors. Right. <laughs> With like Oakleys on. Yeah. I'm a medieval knight with Oakleys. That's what I picture the, the Thunder Warriors look. These, yeah. this is like the first time you see a space brain actually look like a medieval knight. Yeah. In a and lot of ways. and and every mark of armor after this from the Mark IV gets further and further away. Yeah. They all start getting cleaner and more yeah. kind of obviously sci-fi. Mm -hmm. But that's very cool. Okay. So what do we got? Oh, the okay. last thing. This it, is a bit. This is this is probably one of the most important things. Not because it's backpacks. It's because it's weapons. Yep. Here we go. What do we got? Here we are. We have a lot of close combat weapons. Okay, so <laughs> let's go over this because there's a ton of stuff in here. Also, this is going to be really important because this is a standalone kit eventually one day. Mm -hmm. And when it's a standalone kit, basically this is kind of the equivalent of, uh, this is basically a tactical squad. So it has yeah. to have enough weapons to be able to build the squad out as, oh, you, yeah. as you... Let's start it. over on the right here because you can see we've got the bolt pistol. You have a bolt now pulled out, ready to rock and roll. You have a bolt pistol. You have plasma. A plasma pistol. A plasma okay. rifle. Yep, plasma gun. Melt a gun. Is that a melter or is it? It is a melter. That yeah. is a melt. That's Thought a, it could have been a. That is a heresy melter. Heresy melter. Because it's got the extra bands or whatever mm -hmm. on the barrel, which is kind of neat. Uh, We've you, got. Well, we'll get to those. We'll backpacks, to those. obviously. You have all of the kind of really retroy uh, Mark III backpacks, which are very kind of gear and industrially looking. Steampunky, yeah. yeah. It, and this is interesting too, this backpack design, because you've got the top bit that's actually going to, it looks like attached to like kind of a hinge for the for the backpack. We usually don't see backpacks come in multi-part multi, multi uh, part, right. you know, thing, but usually the backpack is just a single thing. So, and that's because of the uh, exhaust ports. The exhaust ports are gonna come. They're actually hollow. They're hollow. Yes. Yeah, which is gonna, which which is gonna, gonna be, be cool. really cool. Yeah. And um, then uh, we get down here, we've got. Tons of chain swords. <laughs> we got a we got a, a gladius here, like a power sword. Yep. So you have a power. Thing. Well, there's a variety of special weapons that will, of of close combat weapons yeah. that we'll get to. So so, but the default one is chain swords. You have enough chain swords for all your dudes. Oh yeah. Just like you have bolters for all your dudes. So we have a couple of different helmets. We have uh, 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 clearly that's a power sword. Yeah. You got a power sword over here. You have a lightning claw. Yep. And it's interesting because this lightning claw is individual. Edward Scissorhand fingers. Right, and that's why it's cut up in, in and it, two pieces. It so attaches the finger, there. So the fingers have a lot of motion to them, right, which is right. very cool. Yeah. And then you have a power fist yep. over there. Uh, you have a vexilla. Yep. That, of course, will go on top of a backpack, most likely. Uh, we'll look at the details on these when we flip it, but this is little pouches and doodads. We okay, those. which you're going to glue onto uh, the model. These are uh, exposed heads because yep. Marines. Yeah. Um, because always take your helm off. Helmet off the battle, right? When you're a sergeant, when you're a sergeant, that's the first <laughs> thing. They're like, well, here's your new rank. We need that helmet, please. You know, <laughs> I thought it was a promotion, not a safety hazard. Uh, that is cool. That is the transverse crest. Yep. Which actually, I guess, isn't a transverse crest. You can, because it's a separate piece. You, you, can glue, can, you can glue that however you want to. You can go crazy. You can be like side mohawk. Wow. You can do whatever Don't you give Thomas it. ideas. Okay. I mean, Goat Boy's not do that now. Go okay. Uh, now right. let's go talk about um, these, these clothes, special these weapons. That's oh, a heavy bolter. Heavy bolter with you got the with the, the drum barrel, the yep. drum magazine. Excuse me. Uh, and Which that is cool. the that is the only heavy weapon that's part of this kit by default. Yeah. So heavy bolter. And then uh, that sure looks like a thunder hammer. Uh, that's definitely either a thunder hammer or the heresy precursor. Let's flip that guy over. Which is because there's much definitely some stuff we want to look at on the back side. Boom. Of it. This is what I was talking about with the uh, the backpacks. You can see how they're going to be like a two part. Oh yeah, those and are the, really nice. Again, I just want to. Flip, if I can flip this and bring it closer, you can kind of see. Let me get in here. You can kind of see right, right in here, with the uh, exhaust ports. Like they're they're hollow, yes, but those have the little vents on them. This side has the vents. Mm -hmm. This side, those are hollow, and they're just kind of like clipped together like a like a cup. So it's kind of cool. All right, pop back down here. All right. 
Uh, there's the front of the Vexilla. It looks really nice. Which is tons of detail. Pro I'm going to guess that that little tiny circle there is probably just big enough that you can stick a little tiny Legion logo in there. Yeah. Like one of the shoulder pad ones. Pretty much probably. any Legion. Yes, exactly. Pretty much any Legion. These are all de designed to be generic. Uh, there's your two uh, sergeants, one bald, one with hair. Yep. Gotta uh, have them. Gotta All have the hair. little packs. Which is the, yeah, the ammo packs. Those look cool. Like they, they have, they're not just regular straps. They have like... Uh, like little rivets on them too, which is, you know, more rivets. Which is the theme of Mark III R. Can we put a rivet on it? Well then, then is yes. this riveting? Yes, yes it is. Let's go. All right, so. All right, very cool. That takes uh, care of Mark III. Let's come back in a second and we'll look at the next guys. Well, we'll just flip, uh, who do we want to pick? Who are we doing next? Uh, let's who are we going next? Okay, so those are all done. We let's, got the legs. I think we have to do Let's do. The, let's do the ladies. Let's get the ladies out here. Let's do the Sisters of Silence. Another, Raising another <laughs> unit that if someone had asked me, do you think they're ever going to do uh, Sisters of Silence? I would have said never in a million years. And they said no. I meant in plastic. And I'd say double never in a million years. And yet, here, here they, they are. are. Here they are in front of me. So okay. this is this is for five models. This is five models. Um, can we can we split one? You want to split it and do the same thing or just sure? Okay, I'm going to do it. Gonna You're do doing it, it this time. Right? Uh-oh. Oh, whew. Okay. okay, let's just move I've, these two. I've been in the gym working out. That's, yeah, that's right. For a long time. All right. I feel special. Okay. So here's so, the first part. Here's the first Bruce. So the first thing that we're going to notice is that um, the Sisters of Silence are very, very, uh, they're very feminine, lots of curves, uh, and the armor is extremely tight-fitting. It's sleek, though. Yes. It's like, a, it, it reminds me of like a rogue from like D&D yes. or something. Like did. They look like they're sneaky, not sneaky, but I guess silent. They can, <laughs> they can, they can, they, they can move a lot. They can move. They're agile. The, yes. They're nimble. Yes. This yeah. is this is the opposite of Terminator armor. Yes. Yeah. Yes. At the same time, they still have like armor plates. It still has a sense of. They managed to capture both like a like a nimble look and an armored look, which is cool. From a just from a style point of view and kind of a theme of the Sisters of Silence miniatures, these seem to have a lot in common with the types of designs and miniatures that, that you would see coming out of the Eldar or the Dark yeah. Eldar ranges. These are they're really slender, they have a lot of motion, they're very di dynamic, they have a lot of curves to them, and lots of like flowing pieces. So as an yeah, example. With the, the capes and the Yeah, and their weapons are very thin, very elegant. There's like nothing in, you know, this is the opposite of like the marine, or the actually, yeah. it's the polar opposite of say the orc aesthetic. Ooh, yeah, that's a great call out. So they're um, so we're seeing um, you know here's the front of a of one of them of a, of a torso with a single leg. Here are their swords. Their swords are, are they're you know, claymore esque. Yeah, very very long, very thin blades. They yeah. they definitely have like the little weird little like I'm a power weapon. Kind it of reminds me of the, of the Highlander. Uh, the hand de <laughs> detail, as we see from the Dark Eldar line, very detailed, very kind of yeah. very fine. You can fine. make indi individual fingers out, and they're thin fingers. They're not like yep. thick sausage fingers like the Space Marines. Correct. So. Uh, lots of heads. Uh, By the way, we're going to give Abaddon a top knot run for his money with uh, those top knots. This is true. Yeah. Also, uh, way more heads than there are models, so you have yeah. options. It's true. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's nine. Just right on here. that one. Just sprint. on that one sprint. There's a, I see a couple more heads. So there's a. So you're gonna have a lot of different options to mix them up, which is mm -hmm. very cool. Uh, the uh, lots of capes. They have capes on the back. Some of them have tabards on the front. Mm -hmm. um, weapons on this particular sprue. There's a bolter. bolter. You got a flamer. Yep. I can't even. I think that's just a piece Let's of. I think that's quick. just like a tabard. Yeah. A doodad. They are all bald with top knots, and they have that kind of, uh, they have a, 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 a metal grill. You can that, see the grill, yeah. That covers their face. Which is very cool. Very kind of Immortan Joe style. Yeah. But Witness me. But yep. not, but feminine. Yeah. We'll they've done like a that. great job of, of these models. Let's look at the next. Square. Also, lots of detail and scroll work. Yeah. On the, like, you know, like like on the tabards have, they, they have, they, they, these these uh, the sisters have filigree all over them. Yeah. The, the top knots are are also have really flowing action to them. They're not just hanging there. These things are blowing yeah. in the wind and moving around. Very similar to what you see, say, on Dark Elder witches. Yes. It's that kind of a look. For sure. They got <laughs> fully movement for days. Speaking of lots of of scroll work and fanciness, like take a look at, at the at the filigree on the corner of the of that cape that's yeah. already engraved. That will definitely. This one too. Yeah. Just. All over the same thing. Really long, elegant weapons. Very cool. And they like 
just extra doodads? I can't tell. If those are those shoulder, shoulder pads. Those are shoulder pads. Okay. So some of them have like a couple a single extra weapons. Pad. So we've got again two more bolters right here, two more. more flamers here. Yeah, it looks like these are the burn you squad. So so far we've seen. We've well, seen we've, we've got swords, and we've had we've seen swords on other. I think you may be able to maybe to build them in build different ways. A, there, there's either. I'm, I'm guessing, just from seeing these crews, you're probably going to have one squad that's close combat oriented and one squad option you can go right shooty. Yeah, and with this kit, you can build them either, either yeah. way. So, flip um, that one over real quick. Oh, go I ahead. I want to show that back off just real fast. I don't know how much is on the back of this one that's... Yeah, just so you can see it's just more. weapons. Yeah, it's more of the other side of the weapons. So here's okay. the final sprue. for sprue three? Here we go. Here's the final countdown here. Uh, tons of swords, you know, more, more flamers, more bullets. Uh, yeah. Shoulder pads. I think in total we've seen five bolters and five flamers at this point. So there's two more here and two more here. Oh yeah. So. So. More, all the shoulder pads, so a couple more heads. We've seen no rules, but it's definitely possible that so far, just based off of what we've seen, you may be able to build this entire squad with, uh, with um, swords and yeah, and um, and bolters, or you know, swords and flamers or cool. some kind of combo. Let's, let's or take a look at the custodes real fast. Okay, this is where it gets really crazy. <laughs> because this sprue is all bling all the time. Like, I've never seen something that's imperial that has this much bling on it. It's, these guys are crazy. Yeah. This, is, this is all Aquila's, all anywhere they could have an eagle sculpted onto them, they have an eagle sculpted onto them. <laughs> and I'm gonna give you an example. So, this is a shield. So yes. this entire shield is a big giant Aquila. This is a sword. Okay, first of all, this is an amazingly cool thing that has never been described in the fluff before. We've always seen that Custodes have guardian spears. Which, guardian spears all over the place. Which we have here. Here's a guardian spear. It's a big two-handed uh, halberd and it has, you know, the blade and it has a bolter built, 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 built into it. This, however, is a huge giant broadsword, but this is a guardian broadsword and that if you look at it, Oh yeah. Those the little hand guards, those are clips and the bolter is built onto the side of the blade. Wow. So, so you've got the blade like this and on either side is a barrel. Is a, a gun barrel. Yeah, correct. Because you, you can see that this is actually two. I'm just gonna flip it over real quick yeah. to show. You can see so, you know what? Let's do this real fast. You guys can see what I'm talking about. There's the barrel right there. And the hand guards are the clips. <laughs> that are sticking out on both sides of it. There's and this, the other one. And this leads to the entire concept of there's actually an entire category of Custodus weapons. It's not We've just never they, seen. they all have guardian spears. They have guardian all kinds of stuff. These guys have swords. These guys have spears. There might be other things, but all of them are close combat weapons with built-in bolters. What if their bolters have built-in bolters? Yeah. Guardian bolters. Like little tiny, like strength one ones. I don't know. Really Whatever. Sad. I don't know. That's weird. <laughs> so back to what I was saying. So here's a shield. It has an Aquila on it. There's a cape. It's got some eagly stuff on it. Here are uh, here's shoulder, shoulder pads. pads. Eagle, other shoulder pad. Eagle. Uh, these are the little pieces of side armor that protect the sides of their legs. Let me guess. Mm -hmm. Eagles. 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 And uh, more eagles to just hang off them and with things on them. And then where is the uh, where's the, what do you think their favorite band is? Where's my favorite? Oh, it's not the Eagles. I'm just kidding. That's a joke. That that's sad. That makes me <laughs> sad. Uh, they're in the heavy metal. Torso, eagle, yep. and their helmets themselves also have an eagle. That's not the torso, that's the back. Okay, they're back. Because that's the torso, I think. Eagle. Yeah, because those backs... You gotta flip flip that guy over. Yeah, you can see that's the head crest where like the head would go in here. Oh, this is the big thing. So yeah. there's the front of the helmet. And it's what insane. is surrounding their, their eagle. eagles. Of yeah. course. Yeah. Like, Maybe they like the Eagles of Death Metal. I don't yeah. know. I mean, like, the, I, I remember back in the day where the guys who had the super insane Baroque armor, yeah. where it was kind of a tie between, say, Grey Knights, had lots of scroll work and fancy yeah, yeah, stuff, yeah. or Blood Angels. But Custodes put these guys, like, those guys it's are just, shame. yeah, there's, it's not even close. Like, oh, your Blood Angels have a lot of fancy armor with nipples? We got you beat. Instead of nipples, though, we replaced all the nipples with Eagles. Yes. So, upgrade, in my opinion. I would agree. <laughs> I would agree. Uh, I mean, and just the the detail on the. I mean, they have definitely, their designers have gone all out. These miniatures. Like that whole I mean, expertly designed miniature joke. I mean, yeah, definitely. I mean, there are only five models on this sprue. Yeah, and again, this is one of those. And sprues this sprue is 
split in half. We're not going right. to at this point. And this but. brew is, it has so many parts. Like yeah. each Custodes model has a tremendous amount of parts to put it together so that they can get all the detail and undercuts and everything oh, on yeah. it. So when these guys come together, I mean, they look amazing. I, the, the funny part is aside from the weapons, you're going to use pretty much every single one of these bits. Um, yeah, maybe a couple seeing... of the arms might be extra too, but all of the torsos you're going to use, you're going to use... There might be some more weapons, but I haven't done yeah. a count. I mean, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, there's enough. Uh, I, I believe that there's five each. So there's there's enough weapons that you can probably do an entire squad yeah. uh, with swords. Well, or you've, also got, squad you've also got with this Guardian bit spears. right here, which is like the banner. That's the... Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's the big standard. So the big standard... I don't great. know. Where's the top at, though, for the standard... Yeah, I don't. Maybe oh, it's probably one of these. Yeah, it's probably these things with yeah. all the things with all. The oh yeah, because yes, there's it's, it's a, these three pieces. I think make all the combined. Manner. It's like and they go on the top of that. Yeah, with these powers combined, we but become Voltron. a lot of extra pieces of. I mean, considering that there there's only five guys, there's a huge amount of options on here. So clearly, oh, yeah. you're going to be able to say when. Yes, again, in the nebulous future, 2017, uh, when this becomes a, a, a just a normal box set and you're going to be able, oh, yeah. of course, they're going to have rules for these guys in 30K. Of course, they're going to have rules for these guys in 40K. Have so, to. so they have to give you all the squad options. Yeah. And it's clear that you're going to be able to build this kit in multiple ways because you get five of these swords, you get five of the custodian spears, you get five of the shields. So you get, you know, there's yep. a, there's lots of, lots of different options. Here. That's really cool. Uh, there's another spree you have over there. This is going to be the Tartaros These are the Tartaros Terminators. This is uh, actually not the last brews. The last brews we have. We have the, a couple more. Are the characters. We got a couple. We're, right. we're, we're saving them. We're getting to them. Okay, so you... a lot to cover. So before we start talking about these, let's take a step back. So you'll remember last year we had mm -hmm. an almost identical set like this, which were the Cataphractic. Correct. And they had all kinds of cool weapon options. And now we have the Tartaros Term Terminators. And these guys look to be just as cool. Again, th this is a sprue that's clearly designed for future use with yes. lots of squad options for use in 30K and 40K. So we're going to have a lot of extra options and bits on here so you can build the squad out in different ways. Yeah. So the first thing I see right away is weapons. The thing that draws my eye immediately is there's the five, is there's the five sets of lightning claws. Yeah. So and those are like the standard uh, kind of heresy era lightning claws that you just glue those on top of the power fists. Um, so there's no power fist, per se. Correct. Uh, uh, model. It just glues to yeah. the outside bit, of it. You just glue it on top. And because of that, clearly, you have enough. You also have power fists for got, for yeah. all of them. Which is so, kind of funny if you think about it, because you could have a dude with two power fists running around. Well, it means it means yeah. finally you can have like your lefty. You know, yeah. I want like the other, you know. Yeah. I want like the cool, the power fist in the other hand. Well, there you go. Exactly. Um, so, so definitely right off the bat, you have options for lightning claws and power fists across the board. Um, I'm also seeing all of the we got bolters. bolters. Remember, it's a five man squad. Yep. So there's the five. So there's the five uh, combi bolters. We got those. Uh, all of the uh, we have those very cool uh, Tartaro shoulder uh, shoulder pads, which are very distinctive. Yeah, they have a very here's the plain side, and then those two are for like the squad. Mm -hmm. uh, Tartaro's Terminator armor, just for the, just like in the fluff, it's kind of the weird. It's the it's it's the um, it's kind of the opposite of the Cataphracty. It's the mm -hmm. it's the it's the faster, more mobile version right. of Terminator armor. So it's you know it's there's like the normal 40k Terminator that everybody knows and loves, and that's kind of the default one. And then Tartaro's is a little more agile. Yeah. And Cataphracty is slower but more protected. So now you yeah. kind of have a whole spread. Um, I see a Reaper Auto Cannon. Yep. Right there. There's the barrel, there's the body, mm -hmm. and then see. the magazine that you're going to slap on there. Mm -hmm. Go and to then, town. And then there are definitely, and then there's some. And we've got some extra. There's a flamer. There's some bits on here that I can't. I de yeah, there's definitely a heavy flamer. Yep. But like this thing over here, it's I can't. Somehow a plasma. That definitely looks plasma y. Oh, that might be a Volkite. That might be a Volkite. This is like a. For plasma for combi plasma option. Yeah, that's that is really that that there's really. There's the Volkite. There's the, the yeah, other side of that. I think this actually comes with. Uh, this could be the first Volkite. Have we ever seen a Volkite in, in plastic? I don't know. I don't think we have. I don't think we have in plastic. But yeah. that'd be pretty cool. Uh, power sword. Yep. There's for the for the, for the sergeant, of course. Right. And uh, I think it's time to flip this guy over. And all the torsos too. Don't forget mm -hmm. the, all the legs. Wait, they've got the rivets on this one, but most of the time Tar Taros is. Usually very smooth. smooth. It's very smooth. So you have one one uh, chest piece with rivets. You also have one leg. 
Mm -hmm. So you can you can mix it up. Yeah. Which will be which will be cool. Let's flip flip this guy over. Like that. Okay. And on the back side of it, we get to see all of the detail on the inside of the um, hands of the power fist. Really, really, really nice work. Uh, back of the leg is actually really techno. There's like a lot of little vents and doodads. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. But it's not. Um, this armor has an appearance that's very high tech looking. It doesn't. It's it's very very different than say uh, the Mark III guys who right. look very medieval and bands and rivets all over this. These guys have like that really kind of like the like the 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 some of the design elements that you would see on like land raiders and just mm. like the and the marine aircraft it has kind of that the the hard tech side of it it's interesting to me too because the the mark III armor reminds me of cataphracty terminator armor whereas the the tartarus pattern armor reminds me more of say like a mark IV armor sure so it's you can yeah, see more i don't advanced. know if it's like more advanced or it's just a different like the, the aesthetically they, they they look related so uh here's all the heads because yeah. and there they all are. And there's a couple of different styles of head. Like th this one's got the uh, the more that's like the Mark IV head that you would see right. on a marine. They have yeah. Some of them have horizontal vents. Some yeah. of them have diagonal vents. Some of them, so there's a little bit of variety in here. There's the last two over there. Yep. I'm pretty sure that that's a Volkite. That yeah. really looks like a Volkite to me, which is very cool. Yeah. So more Volkite options. Yeah, and there's the other side of the the barrels, reaper barrels there. For, the, for, for the reaper. So, and then we oh. also have two. We forgot to mention the, the chain fist. Oh yeah. So if you wanted to do the chain fist, attachment. oh, so that's actually really really cool. So so what they've done is they made they've they've kind of cunningly disassembled all of the assault options, so they're mm -hmm. all mix and match. So you you start off with the default power fist hand, and then you can yeah. just add the chain fist bits to it, or add the lightning claw bits to it to build yeah. it however however you want to. Instead that's of having to cool. say here's a different chain fist bit and here's a different. Uh, lightning claw bit. I'm just looking at them. They don't go on the bolters, do they? They go on a fist, right? Yeah, they go on the fist. Because I'm, I'm just some converter out there is going to put them on bolters. Oh, then, some converter. Instead of bayonet, you're going to have a combi bolter with a chainsaw coming out. You should you, you should cut the little horns off Khan and give him two like chain fists. Yes, you guys at home, cornate chainsaw here. I'm just saying, don't out there. Uh, the next one you want to look at, you want to do the uh, characters next. Yep, characters right, next. We'll both characters, since we've kind of seen one of them. All right, zoom weighing in. on these guys. Yep. Here are the two character sprues. And Armin. It is confirmed, by the way, that is Armin. The box does say that this is Armin. Yeah. So and he's now, got a ton of detail work on him. So now we have Armin in plastic. Yes. Very cool. Yes. Um, obviously, this is him in his cool um, heresy K's. era, yeah. 30K. So he doesn't look all insane and crazy with the giant staff and all the stuff that I mean, he, he does have a giant 40K. Yeah, he, has, staff, he, has a, so. he has a different giant staff. That's giant, true. The giant strap. Um, but I actually like this one better. He's got a lot of ornate, you know, his... Uh, He's very his dynamic. chest piece, very ornate, very flowy. Yep. Um, very, a lot of curves. Same deal with the... Uh, he has the cool standard librarian, I'm pointing my fingers at you and doing weird magic yes. motions with his hand. And he also has uh, the body of a fallen, you know, dude that he's going to be standing on too, which is kind of... Always nice. You know, yes. Hey. My, my en crushing my enemy. Yes, so. the the generic dead marine base accessory is always appreciated. Yeah, great gift around Christmas time. It is. Uh, <laughs> Over here we have Geiger, uh, Geiger, George Geiger, Mister the Fellhanded. Let's just yes, call him Mister Fellhanded. Yes, Mister the Fellhand. Yep. The other Fellhanded. Um, and same thing. This is a miniature. We've seen this miniature uh, from some of the press pictures. It's super dynamic. He's oh, yeah. charging. You know, it, this is. This is a very blinged up space wolf. And it's cool too, because he's got his combat blade pulled out, there's, there's the scabbard. He's got his bolter slung with chains, no less, not like a strap, not a bolter strap. Well, it's just like- A chain can, a, a yeah. stra straps will break. Yeah, he does, he's not, He's there's no weak links in his chains. You yes. know what I'm saying? And then he's got his crazy fell hand, like, it's with it's, like scroll work yeah. on each of the individual yeah, fingers say, of the lightning claw. It's a lightning claw, like a Celtic lightning claw. And then and then <laughs> and then both his backpack and just all just all of his armor is covered with I mean there's almost no exposed armor on this guy. He's yeah. covered with pelts, he's got chains, he's got little doodads hanging all off him. He's got little Like he was hanging out with the custodes and he's like, Oh, I see you guys like eagles. Well I like wolves and pelts. Check yeah, it out. Yeah, he's got little like wolf pelt talismans. I mean like his armor is basically made of wolf pelt talismans. He's got so many I mean look at his stand his, his little backpack thing is just loaded down. I love the wolf skull they added. That's just And cool. a wolf skull. Yeah, gotta have that. Remember, there are no wolves on Fenris. No. Nope. That was one of his cousins. 
I don't know. <laughs> that makes the truth of that banner kind of disturbing. Yeah, if you think about it. The more you think about it, the weirder uh, it gets. We will pause real quick. We're going to open up some of the other accessories we haven't done yet, and we're going to go through those too. So we'll be right back. All right, we're back. We're going to be going over the tiles really, really quickly. Um, these are, as we said, uh, this is the really, really thick card yeah. that we've seen in Overkill. It's and interesting. Patrol There's a um, ridge. I want, we're going to show you this so that you can probably catch the glare off these so you can tell that, yeah, you can see that these things have um, different zones yeah. that are engraved into them so you can kind of tell that there's people are in different se sections. And it's interesting too. So this is there's, one there's huge There's a tile. lip that, that, these are punch outs. Yeah, like, this is a punch out. Off. But this but whole the, tile is, is one big punch, right. punch out. So there's the front of that one, some kind of big pavilion. Like these don't individually, sections don't punch out. It's but a big pavilion one with a tile. fountain and little yeah. floating heads in it. Gross. Flip that over. Oh, Whoa. Ooh, that sucker. Lava. What? What? Lava. With or chaos lava. I don't know. That's pretty cool. Hey, look. What's that symbol look like? I don't know. It's a mystery. It looks, it's a and all the little, all the little, um, the little thousand suns. Some of them are glowing. Runes and symbols. Some cool. of them are glowing. I'll let all you crypt cryptographers, cryptographers go crazy trying to figure that out. Right. Okay, so that's one. There are five of these big, big tiles, by the way. They come with. with so, they're all double sided. What's the next one. This is another one. It's like a big, um, you know, street. Um, it's broken up. It has glowy stuff on the side of it. That's the front of it. Let's flip that guy over. This one's really cool. So there's like <laughs> streets and steps going down, and then you're in this big kind of temple area with all these little, each individual areas with runes. This just makes me want to play. Like I, this, these tiles totally look like they're made for a role playing game. I want to point. Can we like that's what I'm talking about. Like this, this is one giant. Tile. Yeah, it's one huge. Tile. And then they don't pop out. Correct. Like, so just don't break them when you get them for yourself. Yes. Uh, next number th tile. Number three, more broken streets and thousand yeah. suns things. That's so cool. And again, each section you can see with the glare. Yeah. You can kind of see. Yeah. They are they are embossed. Yeah. The different sections are deeply embossed. You can tell where the where the edges are. So flipping it over. Check that out. The portal room. This is like, t <laughs> tell me this isn't like the sac this is the sacrificial room right here, right? When I mean, like, there's the Stargate right there. <laughs> there's a Stargate. You got a weird, crazy thing. Stuff. Stairs going up to it. And, or down, know, I don't know. Or down. You get the scarab with the eye. <laughs> this is like my favorite. This is, uh, it's cool. I'm going to decorate my bedroom. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Now we have a couple of these half tiles. Right, now these are half tiles. So so this whole side is a punch out, this whole side is a punch out. And again, same Stargate portal for lack of a better term. There. Pretty much. And then another kind of room, altar room. Yep, Let's flip this guy over, see if we can do it without those things falling out. Oh, that's cool. These actually are, uh, this particular one really reminds me with this great work of the mm -hmm. thing, of, of some of the tiles we saw with uh, Death Watch Overkill. Yeah. It was like all industrial grains. Right, all the right, time on that. same kind of thing there. But these are fancier. Yeah, for sure. Very cool. Very cool. And definitely some battle da battle damage on those. So. Uh -huh. And then this big tile is actually a bunch of smaller tiles. Yeah. This is the one that's kind of the traditional game board. Lots of little pieces that you pump. Yeah, that, this that is the punch out. out. So you have marker, you have tokens and markers. This is a statue of the emperor. On this side, we'll see what it is on the other side. Let me flip, flip it over. You know, broken columns. Yeah. This is probably, I'm going to assume, debris. These three things look like warp storms or something. I'm going to say magic. Probably, and then we have this crazy lightning bolt thing, energy blast going around. All right, let's go cool. flip it over, see what we got on the other Boom. side. Whoa! Who's that? That's not the Emperor. That's Magnus. That is Magnus. He has his weird nipple horns it's true. on his armor. I don't know what that's Check called. that out, though. That's a land speeder. That that's is, a hair seer. That is uh, a... Yeah. And it has rocks fell on it. Oops. That happens. Should not parked there. Um, and then, again, the opposite side of those tiles. Yep. We have three more of those. All of these little portals. markers here had Roman numeral twos on the other side. They have ones here, so. Maybe they're ones or something. I don't, I don't know. know what that sounds like. And more. then these crazy, right. just crazy stuff around. So those are the board tiles. Yep. We've got two different decks of cards. I believe these are like the Psychic Tower cards and then the um, uh, Warp Let's do one cards. deck at a time. Yes. Let's, let's just. We're not, gonna, we're not gonna go through all these cards. We're just gonna see the fan backs. these out like I'm, a, like I'm a dealer in Vegas. There you aunt. go. There we go. As good as we can get, we'll flip a couple of these over. Which one? Pick your pick your card. Which one is going to be? I'm going to go with this one. All right. Iron, Iron will, will one one. Okay. I don't you, know. you pick a card. Unbreakable will one one, and then it has a special rule. Cool. We'll go to the back one. Unbending will one or zero with special rule. So you're getting a lot of special abilities. Yeah. These that, are the willpower cards, I believe. So. Right. So there's a whole deck of those. And then we've got another. We'll look really really quickly. Just 
Give me a second one here three, to look. One to three, yeah. one to three, one or two, so, twos. Yeah. Got those. Here's the trick, you gotta do like that. Oh, oh. Sure. Yeah. you're supposed you're, to do like that. You're fired. You I do know. not get to work in the casino. I wasn't <laughs> planning on it. I'd lose all my money. Not so. Good. There we go. It's a new deck, you gotta break it in. All right, all right. here we go, ready? Pick your card. Ready? I'm gonna go with this one. All right. There we go. Vortex. Vortex, Ooh. one or three with all kinds of, okay, so that's, this is definitely, these are, this is a psychic power of some type. Whoa. What does that one do? What's that? Corvidae, that's one of the houses Warp time. of uh, of of the Thousand Suns, and that is a that is that is a special that is also a psychic ability okay. with with stuff. So, that's... so lots of those. Ah, ha, ha. Okay, so yeah, so teasers. So this is definitely the deck workflow of psychic abilities. Something and there's a whole Something. deck of those, as opposed to the other ones which are willpower. I believe. Oh, I get it. I get it. Hold on a second. Take that thing and flip it over. I remember we haven't seen the rules yet. We're just giving you a little, but but notice, this is the deck that the Thousand Suns are going to be using because they're all spells and special abilities. This is the deck that the attack that the Imperial forces are going to be using that are all like, I have a great strength of will to stop this. I can right probably we so, don't know yet, but that's what those are. Uh, next up, we've got a couple of booklets here. You can kind of see here. We've got the rules. And then we've got the yeah. We're, we're not going to go through these page at a time, but we'll open them and show you. Um, uh, so first thing, this is the same uh, as we saw with Tro at call. Same kind of gorgeous quality. layout. This is the exact layout that's used in the Horse Heresy big fence in the Forge World Horse Heresy big leather bound books. So yes. it's the exact same thing, and we will give you a little bit. So this is all fluff backstory. It's yeah. about yes. So is this just that. all the backstory then? It looks like it is. And we'll just flip to, yeah, oh my gosh, look at that. That's an example. Look at wow. that. Gorgeous artwork. So yeah, this is all just like background. What's going on? What are the miniatures? I mean, if you don't know anything about the game and you just, you know, if you're 12 and get this game for Christmas, you're yeah, like, well, that's perfect. Perfect. stuff us. This is the book that's going to be like, this is what you're doing. This is what it's all about. This is how you paint your models. Cool. So there you go. Uh, Gorgeous. Here's the rule book real quick. Uh, just to show this off again. Same oh my kind gosh. of fancy layout. Beautiful. Awesome artwork. Uh, quick we'll introduction. We'll just stop at the table. We'll stop at the table of contents because I don't want to spoil the campaign because this right. book actually has. We're going to cover the, six the rule book in detail later. Right, but there's your six scenarios, but it's got everything you need to know: uh, miniatures, a squad, squad assembly, setting up, general principles. It actually has its own rule set. So this is a different game. It's not. A standard 40k game. It's not a standard 30k game. Also note the rules it's themselves on different this. Different than Betrayal of So we have a 32. We have 32 pages of rules. Mm -hmm. Well, to, sorry, 32 pages in this book. But the rules right here, which we we start at page nine at playing the game, and then all the different phases, and then we get to the scenarios at page 19. So the actual game itself, 10 pages of rules. Yeah. So this is not. This is going to be a very quick quick learn. Absolutely. And What's on the back? The back is probably back, certainly a, back is a, all the reference. a summary sheet because it normally yeah. is. That's the so reference. Your reference. Uh, speaking of reference, uh oh, we've got two Whoa. reference sheets. Oh my gosh, what is that? So again, we haven't read the rules, so I don't know how to decipher all of this stuff. But you, okay. can, you can see there's your trader profile sheet. Yep. The back. It's got it's the terminus. And then same thing, all your your normal guys, veterans, veterans, Gigor. Gregor, Gigor, 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 George, someone, Mr. Fellhand, someone who's from Scandinavia, Fellhand. please in the comments tell us how would you pronounce that because I don't know. Gigor, Gigor, Gigor. No one has this name who's from Texas. That's all I'm going to say. Right. Okay. Sorry. And then on the back, Custodus and and Scissors. Very cool. So you can see you get your little quick stat sheet, which yeah. is awesome because when you're playing the game, you don't want to be digging through the rules and all yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah. So and you, you can see like the combat values. Uh, your which die you're rolling. These so. are really nice. Yeah, and Very it's totally cool. awesome. Like d6s, d8s, d10s, all the different. So all the different dice are being Armin. used for combat, combat and, and shooting. Watch out. Wow, yikes! He's gonna hurt He's some people. He's got a d12. That's scary. Right. Okay, so we're the last close. thing, the last thing is the actual assembly guide. Uh, we've seen this. And These this, are this, this, this is, will go through it. Yeah, we can flip through this pretty quick. Um, just assembly. It's black and white. Um, tons of stuff here. Oh, Shows oh, you how to build everything. Oh, oh, oh. I wanted to see the uh, the standard. Oh yeah. yeah. As we thought, so you get the pole, 
and you get the center part of the eagle, and then wing, wing, and they both have stuff. It's like I said, it's Voltron. And they'll go it's Voltron that big crazy. Oh my god, that's so crazy. That guy's crazy looking. There's tons of stuff here. Oh god, there's so many options. Yeah. You can actually do the raised sword, that's uh -huh. cool. I don't know, what, do you like the swords better or the guardian spear? I don't know. I like the swords better when, well, sorry, I like the, well, I like the swords when they're like down. Like when, when he's like, it. yeah, when, when he's like, I am the holder of the sword and the point is down in the dirt and he's just, his, his, his hands are resting on the, on the pommel. I think that looks really cool. Like that. You yeah. like that. Yes. But like what I don't like is like, is that. That's, that's too big of a sword to be like. You don't know how strong these guys are. That's true. Maybe that know. sword is like made of. Fun. I don't know. <laughs> it's a giant it weighs nothing. Sisters of Silence, obviously. Um, All the different very heads. Very cool. Tons very of different cool. heads. And of course, yes. And they're on 32 mil bases. So for what it's worth. So also really, really quick, let me just go back and show and show them something. So this is the whole building them all with swords. You can also build them and then there's the Oh, it's got you, names. We've got we've got the Vigilator, which is a close combat. There we go. The Whip Seeker. Whip Seeker with the flamer. And, and the Why would you have a flamer for the Whip Seeker? I don't understand. Burn the witch. Alright. Uh, that flamer actually fires wooden stakes. Gotcha. That catch fire. <laughs> no, maybe. And the prosecutors have bolters. So right. definitely you can assemble you can make a squad. There are yeah, there are there are Multiple three different yeah, there are three different squad builds yes. for this. Yeah, that we kinda feel, figured that would come in. Then we have the yeah, Tartaros guys. We we got a good idea of that one. There's the flamer. Oh, uh, there's the uh there's Reaper, the Reaper Auto, Auto Cannon, which looks so scary. Good. Oh, check Combi the Bolter, Combi uh, the Plasma Blaster, and then Where's it at? The Volkite, Volkite. The Volkite Charger. We were oh. right. There is a Volkite Charger. Oh. Chain Fist goes on underneath. Also, note this. Let's put this guy up here. Um, uh, grenade grenade launcher. launchers. So you can get grenade uh, uh, top uh, armor mounted grenade launchers. Everybody likes grenade launchers. For the for the Terminators. This is so awesome. And then if you want Lightning Claws, go to town. All the Lightning Claws you ever wanted. Yep. Very cool. Pretty awesome. And again, just a quick assembly guide. So there you have it. I like, There's I like notice. That, I like notice, that that's the quick assembly guide. <laughs> notice that there are, there are not any rules in this. We've seen not, that in the other box sets yep. where like they actually have like the assembly guide and then a quick thing about the rules for 40k. There aren't any rules in here for 40k. Yeah, not so one bit. Call it out. So <laughs> that's pretty much everything in the box. Uh, we will have more videos going over the rule book and uh, maybe even a couple surprises later in the week, but come back for those. Um, that's pretty much it for this unboxing, right? Big Red, is there anything else you want to talk about? I think I would just say uh, we're super excited about this. And yes. we are going to be covering this all week long. So check back in. And guys, thanks for watching.